Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in this video I'm going to share this makeup look with you all and if you want to know how you can get this look then please keep on watching. So today I'm going to start with some skincare and this is Nutrida Moisturizing Lotion. I'm going to apply this all over my face. Currently, I'm testing and trying this product for quite some time and I feel it is really great for all skin types, especially for dry skin. But if you have oily skin, you can use this as well. First, I'm applying the concealer all over my eyes to conceal it and to give a really nice smooth base for our upcoming eyeshadows. And then I'm going to set this base with a nice translucent powder so that my concealer won't burn or move throughout the day. Then I'm taking this shade clay and I'm applying this above my crease using a big fluffy blending brush and make sure blend this shade as much as you can because this is a smoky eye guys and smoky eye is all about blending your eyeshadows. Then I'm going with the shade Wormel and I'm applying this just below the shade clay and for blending this shade I'm going to use a really nice small blending brush. Then I'm using the shade Burgundy and applying this on my crease with a small blending brush. In my next step, I'm taking Color Essence Single Eyeshadow in the variant 05 with the help of a Nika application brush and I'm applying this shade all over my eyelid. Next, I'm taking the shade Burgundy again and with the help of a small blending brush, I'm gonna apply this on my crease to blend any of my harsh edges. And believe me guys, my camera is just not doing justice to my eye look. It was looking way more vibrant and way more popping in real life. <laughs> but in camera, it is looking so dull. I don't know why. Next, I'm taking the shade Clay and Khaki to blend any of the harsh edges. Now moving on to my base makeup, I'm using Lacme Blur Perfect Primer. It is a silicon based primer so it is good for oily skin beauties and it is a pink tinted primer so it also helps in brightening your face. Next for my foundation, I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me 24 hour full coverage foundation and I'm gonna blend it all with my makeup sponge. This foundation is a mattifying foundation so again great for oily skin beauties and yes guys do not forget to apply your foundation on your neck and your ears because it looks so odd when you when your face looks so different from your neck and your ears so yeah do apply your foundation on your neck and on your ears. Next for my highlighting and concealing I'm taking wet and wild photo focus concealer and I'm gonna apply this on my highest points of my face that is my under eye area forehead, bridge of the nose, cubits bow and chin and I'm gonna blend everything out with my makeup sponge by the way this concealer is great for all skin types next to set my base I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and with this I'm gonna bake my face today Guys, if you have oily skin, by all means, go and bake your face. This is a really nice technique for all oily skin beauties. Next for my contouring and bronzing, I'm using H&M bronzer and I'm gonna contour and bronze my face with it. Now coming back to my eye makeup again, I'm mixing the shade clay and burgundy and I'm applying this on my lower lash line and I'm blending it really well. For my eyebrows, I'm taking Innisfree Auto Brow Pencil and this is my favorite brow pencil guys and I'm gonna fill my brows with this. Now to give some volume to my lashes, I'm using Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and I will be applying false lashes off camera to amp up this smoky eye gain. Next for my blush, I'm using Blue Heaven's Diamond Blush on and I'm applying this on my cheeks, a bit on my nose and on my chin. So my base is matte like it is completely matte and i want a shimmery blush so that it can give some glow back to my face so yeah that's why i'm using blue heavens diamond blush on and believe me it is my favorite blush in my vanity 
now i want my highlighter on a very blinding side so yes i'm using ybb color cream in the shade goddess i guess and i'm gonna apply this on my highest points of my face that is on my cheekbones forehead a bit on the bridge of my nose just a small dot on the tip of my nose and on my chin So yes guys, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please 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 do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.